travel one, uh, one thing about me is that I'm actually doing mountain biking, and you know, I had a close encounter with the tree, the tree one, that's what I got, but it actually reminds me that bicycles is something that is very simple. You know, everyone knows what the bicycles are. There's two wheels, there's a crank. You turn the wheels and it goes. But at the same time, bicycles is something very, very complex. Today, when you're looking at enduro mountain bikes with shocks, with uh, all kinds of stuff, carbon frames, electric bikes, uh, racing bikes, so on, there's so much technology going into that product that looks so simple, but actually it's a super high-tech product. Now, the same goes with websites. When we started Wix, a website was something very, very similar, very, very simple. A website was just an HTML page you threw out there. And our product, when we started, was actually based on Flash technology. It was a single database, single server, you know, collocation, something very simple. And this is the, actually our first product. You know, this is a product we went live in, with Wix like 16 years ago. Today, when you look at the website, it's something much, much more complex. Any website today need to comply with things like PII, GDPR, things like responsive design, things like accessibility, cookies in the EU, and so on. There's lots of things that are going on to make a website work. And our product becomes much more complex as we did that. And there is also the next evolution. Everybody heard about AI. Any website today would need to comply with whatever AI means for websites. Maybe people, people are going to look for products using AI. Maybe they're going to complete services using that. And all of that goes into that same business of building a website. We at Wix are selling for you know, lots of audiences, to different types of users. There's a huge list. They're not even going to try to read through that. And to meet that demand, we've created tons of products. There's lots of things here going from stores, bookings, to CRM, to smart galleries, and so on. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff. You try to actually cater to any need of a website owner. Well, that works almost. We can never build all the products that our users need. And this is where developers come into the picture. And I'll, if, I'll give you a small confession. I'm a developer. I'm actually writing code today. Even though I'm over 16 years in Wix, even though I manage people, I'm still writing code, simply because there's magic in that. So what I want to, to do with you today is to take you through that journey of how do we bridge that gap of making something complex, simple, and the way to do that is with developers. That story started for me in 2012. In 2012, I went to a conference, much like this one. It was a QCon in San Francisco. And I went to a session. And in that session, someone talked. The, the lecture was about creating APIs. And what does it mean to create a good API? You know, the, the things I remember from there is that you have five minutes for a developer from discovering your product to succeed, to succeed in building something with the product. It has to be, you know, the product is actually the docs of the API. It's a, and for something that resonates was everyone must have an API. Remember, that's 2012. And I was coming back from that conference, and I'm thinking, what would be an API for Wix? What kind of API makes sense for our company? So I went and built the Wix app market. Wix app market was an option that opened Wix for third parties to sell applications to Wix users. You know, it was iframe based at the time in a very simple mashup that you can include in the, in the Wix sites. Very simple to integrate, very simple to learn. It took us four months to pitch the idea in Wix and then four months to build it. Today, it's something much larger, of course. There's also things like uh, support scripts, web components, and so on. And it's actually a pretty interesting business. You can see the numbers here, you know, 500 partners and so on. But as we build that, we started seeing that there's friction, that when you build something based on iframes, your developers still need to set up a server. They still need to set up a database. They still need to render their user interface. And remember, that was before React. So you needed to do something there. 
And you need to configure and maintain all of that. And that is a lot, that there is a lot of going on in order to do that. So the next question for us was, can we make it simpler? Can we build something that would make the life of developers much easier? In 2015, we came up there with the idea of, let's try to do that. We took a, that challenge. What we came up was this equation. Let's take Wix, which is great at drawing a user interface, and let, let's take a cloud, which is great for developers, and connect them together and create a web development platform that gets us the best of both of those worlds. The product was born was Velo, which is, as you can see in that, in, in that picture, there is Wix at the top. It's a drag and drop PowerPoint-like experience, but there is an ID at the bottom. You can actually write code. And there is a database, and you get an OJS, and it's all pre-configured. You click on the button at the top, and you get that deployed to production in two seconds. And it runs on three data centers across the globe. So that's like an all-in-one solution to build web applications. And you can use that to build anything from you know, a more complex website to a, a we've seen a yacht ordering say, business. We've seen internal systems built on that. And there's lots of good things that are going there. This platform basically gives all of those tools to a developer already pre-configured from the user interface on the Wix to an OGS database, on an ID, Git integration, you know, an open platform with thousands of APIs from Wix, and you can, of course, use any API out there in the world, and uh, tools to operate and see what's going on with your application. So that's nice. That's something really, really nice. And you can see there's lots of users using it, over 400,000 users, and uh, you know, over 2 million lines of code written on the platform every day. But still then, we come to the next question. So I have one project, and in that one project, I can do something really, really productive. But what about reusability? Can I reuse it? Well, everyone, of course, you know, we know NPM, we know packages, we know Java, if you come in Java, you have jars. We know about reusing code. But can you reuse a combination of user interface, code, database, configuration, all of that ties together into one package? not just reuse pieces of code. And can you know, remember the app market? Can we use the same ideas to solve the app market need and build applications to deploy on Wix? More than that, the thing that we're doing at Wix, we're tackling the design to code challenge. Basically, we have a designer that can go and create a user interface on Wix. Well, actually, the designers would create, user, would create their UX on things like Figma. But then, you know, normally what would happen, they would take that design, export it out, and tell the developer, hey, go and build that again on React, or Vue, or whatever your favorite framework is. In Wix, the designer goes into the Wix editor and implements that design. So the developer just writes the code to tie into that design. So can we take that advantage as well, and also give that as part of that solution? And can we kill iframes? By the way, we don't love iframes. There's a lot of reasons why. Let's not go into, into that. So what we realized that we need to build something that we've never seen before. It's the reusability of a full fragment of an application. It's not the reusability of just code. In 2020, we started to work on it, and we launched it in 2022. It's called Wix Blocks, and it allows us to take those different pieces, you know, to, take, to open an IDE, write backend code, fronted code, user interface, and database, turn it into a reusable package, create screens to configure it that can be created using the same technology, have a configuration service to store your configurations that when you install your, the, the application that is installing that can configure your mini application, and then all of that is a managed service, managed platform. So this is Wix Blocks. It is the first time that we are seeing something like that, combining both the visual development with reusability and with coding and with database. And by the way, that's coming to the Wix app market very soon, so it allows to create solutions and sell solutions on the Wix app market in a very easy way without managing servers, without managing configuration, you know, just building that on the same productive environment. So 
In case you miss that, we have a lot going on in Wix. You know, thousands of APIs, Velo to build web applications, database and CMS, of course. We have lots of business applications that are allowing teams to do things like you know, stores, booking, pricing plans, uh, all the different stuff, and all of them are integrated together. We have a global, co global payment coverage. If you want to pay to get paid in the US or Europe, that's easy, but what about Brazil? You know, getting online payments in Brazil, that's a challenge. So we have that platform as well. So we started thinking, can we take all of those assets we have and make them easier to use? Can we turn them instead of a platform into a, a set of tools that developers can use anywhere, anytime, from any platform? And in 2012, we set out to do that as well. We've introduced Wix Headless, which is basically the ability to consume all of Wix APIs, the REST APIs. It is the ability to use the same tools we have to manage a business. You know, the screens we have to manage a store, the screens we have to manage booking, manage payments, just use those screens ready-made from Wix. It enables to uh, extend the business logic. Sometimes you want to create your own rules. For instance, if you need custom tax or you need a uh, custom pricing or you even want to create your own payment processor simply because you're creating a game and you have your own specific game coin and you want to incorporate that into a shop that you have. So with our platform, you can do that. That is another which thing that is, we are able to do there. And it is all integrated together. It's not like a set of tools that you take from the internet from one company and another, they don't talk to each other. Those tools, those APIs all talk to each other, but you can still choose and pick what is right for you and what is right for your projects. So that leads us to another challenge. The thing that we do at Wix best is design to code. You know, we let the designer create their designs or whatever creative tools they want, but then we let the designer implement that design on the Wix editor, and that frees the developer to do more important stuff. But well, can we take that experience and bring that to frameworks like React, Vue, Svelte, whatever. Can we open that? Can we bring that also to mobile applications, IoT, you know, chat interactions, whatever? So this is another challenge that we went through to bring that experience to, Re to React. In 2012, we set to, to build that. It took us some time. 2012, we've introduced uh, Codex, which is the first time there is a visual IDE for React. You know, it's, when people try it, it looks like magic. You take a, any React project, there's no special configuration, there's no special rules, there's no anything unique. It's, a spe it's your own React project. And you open Codex on top of it, and you see the, your project visually. You see all the components, you can modify the components visually, it will update your CSS and JSX files. It won't mess them up. It will actually keep your program in style. And then it allows you to, to iterate and build stuff. It's great for you know, going into a big project and finding where things are in that project. It's great to do changes, quick changes in projects and to understand the impact of changes visually, not just looking at the code. And it's also great for taking the designer into the project. Now, I know saying taking the designer into your React project sounds like science fiction. Who would allow the designer to change the UI and publish to production and deploy the application to production, right? Well, guess what? 10 years ago, operations, DevOps, what's called the DevOps, they would have said the same about developers. Who would give a developer the right to deploy something to production? We'll never do that. The developers don't know what they're doing. But we did the DevOps revolution 10 years ago, and now what, it's common that the developer would deploy it to production, right? So I think that what we're trying to achieve here is to get to that point where the, dev where the designer is actually part of the dev team. This is the first time we've seen a visual ID for React that lets both the designer and developer collaborate. Now, we consider there's lots of 
things going on. We have Velo and Blocks that lets you take a ready-made, fully configured, opinionated platform and build both websites and applications in, in a very productive way. We have the Wix app market that lets take the same assets and sell them to Wix existing customers. Over 200 million of Wix users. So there's a lot going on there. We have with Wix Headless that breaks Wix into a tool set that you can use whatever needs, whatever you need for your business. Takes whatever we're doing the best and whatever you can, uh, other companies are doing the best and build the right project, right solutions for you. And we have Co Codex, which lets you work visually on your React projects. So with that in mind, you're invited to our booth to see any of those products and uh, play around with them. And I'm going to end with a quote from Wix CEO, which I really connect with, is that we believe that the future of the internet is in the hands of developers. And Wix, as building a code-first platform for developers, is a player in that game. Thank you. <laughs>